Dennis, Tampa Mayor Jane Castor is addressing the topic of accountability head on after recent issues with Tampa City Council members. Well, today, the mayor laid out the plans they're making to help improve accountability and transparency at City Hall. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell shares those steps. Tampa City Council has recently faced one controversy after another. John Dingfelder resigned from City Council amid a lawsuit and an ethics investigation, while Council Member Orlando Goods currently faces sexual harassment allegations. Although Tampa's code of ethics is stronger than the state's, these recent violations suggest that we can and should do more to improve transparency and accountability at City Hall. Mayor Jane Castor laid out plans to tackle that. The city explains the administration is in the process of modernizing its process for handling public records requests with a new portal. It says making public records responses more efficient. The city says it also bought software to capture and retain records on employees' phones more easily. It has always been incumbent upon every city employee to keep and respond to public records regardless of how they're generated. Castor shared her administration will require employees to watch or attend a Sunshine Law refresher class, while reminding all employees are educated on the Sunshine Laws when they're onboarded with the city. We've asked our city ethics commission to review our own ethics standards and requirements for lobbyist disclosures and registrations, review our ethics enforcement processes, and review the conflict of interest disclosure forms required by all elected officials. The mayor further explaining while potential conflicts of interest are inevitable, those conflicts must be clear and transparent. The residents of Tampa deserve the most transparent and ethical government possible so we can get back to doing the business of the people and serving our residents. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.